Uh, next question is from the U.S. and it's about NATO's narrative, uh, something I uh, was more focused on in my previous job as a, a spokesman. Uh, his question is, is the narrative for NATO, the justification for NATO, fading away with the end of the Cold War? What's the new narrative uh, for the alliance? What are we here for uh, and what do we want uh, to do? And this is the, the classic and very important question. Uh, I don't mean classic in an old-fashioned sense. Uh, we debate this uh, here all the time. I personally don't have too many questions about it. What we don't have is a good slogan. Uh, in the early days of the Cold War, uh, one NATO Secretary General defined NATO's purpose as keeping the Americans in, the Russians out, and the Germans down. That was the post-Second World War conception. Uh, since the end of the Cold War, those things aren't really necessary. The Americans are in. Uh, we don't need the Russians out. Actually, we have them as, as partners. And the Germans are, of course, strong and vibrant members of this alliance and of Europe and of the world. Uh, without there being anything uh, negative and only positive things about that. So, we never found a good new slogan. And I can assure you the new Secretary General has encouraged us to look for one. Uh, but to my mind, NATO is about what it is and then about what it does. What it is is a collection of democracies that is uniquely capable militarily. No other organization can do what NATO can do militarily. You saw it in Libya, you see it in Afghanistan. Uh, and that's a priceless thing because there's times when you need that capability as an international community. We can't get rid of it. And it's also a place where we consult politically. Uh, all these 28 countries are here every single day and discussing and debating all sorts of issues. And by the way, with a very wide group of partners now as well. So it is a unique political forum uh, and a very important one. What do we do? We do three things. We do collective defense. That's the ultimate mission of NATO, to defend the allies. Second, crisis management. I mentioned Libya. I mentioned Afghanistan. I can mention Kosovo. I can mention counter piracy missions. Uh, and third, we do collective security, building trust and confidence and interoperability in the broadest political sense as well as technical sense with partners around the globe. So uh, all of that, I think, is a very important role. Uh, but I can't think of the slogan uh, to, to define it, and I tried uh, for a long time. I came up with a lot of bad ones, but I never came up with a good one. 